my my whole body was hurting for a whole week. I couldn't taste nothing for two months. I couldn't smell for two months. And yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. My grandma got it, my stepdad got it, my little sister luckily didn't get it, and my uncle got it. It was like tough because like most of the things that I like I used to do, like I used to go outside and like I um like run, jog to keep myself in shape. I go go down to a um a close area park and play basketball with some of my friends. And then when COVID hit, it's just like all that stopped. And like I can I couldn't go play basketball or do different sports with my friends because like we weren't allowed, we were in lockdown, we weren't allowed to go outside. School, I think school was even weirder. Like the final days of school. I was not used to it. And everybody was in the same room, so we, we could all hear each other's classes. Some of my friends, their their parents didn't didn't have a job anymore because of the pandemic and they were just stressing out and I told them everything was gonna be okay. But then it lasted like a year or something. What I loved during COVID was to see that people were helping other people no matter, even though there was the like lives that were going on, people were still helping and still trying because they, Everybody matters. But it was good to see that people were helping people. I wrote a story about George Floyd, um, too, and about the way um how he was killed, like about cops and uh, about different cops treating like different race colors, um, a different way than what they're treating their race color and stuff like that. So like people can so like I can get the word out and uh, for people to hear what I'm saying, things like that, so we can so we can like make this world a, a peaceful world. I've learned that sometimes family won't even support you how they're supposed to, mm. uh, because like there's other things going on in life. But I've learned that I have friends like Diego, Jair, and I have mentors like Mr. Wallace here who would support me during the time I need support. It was a it was a quote. I, I'm not sure who made it, but it was something along the lines of don't give up the life you have. And I thought about it. I was like, we really like we survived. We're not we shouldn't just waste our lives doing nothing. So I I was really at before the pandemic I didn't really care about what was happening in our community, but as soon as the pandemic hit, I was just really worried about what they were doing. And what and if they needed anything and but the food that they were giving out at my school close by that really helped so i just i was just like they're okay they have what they need because they were giving out food there's more i can get out to the world into people let them know to like there's uh, there's never a time to stop there's always time to keep keep pushing and keep going. When I was younger, I used to think that community means just people and houses and things, but now I see that it's people coming together, people helping each other. So it's more together. <laughs>